Hello everyone. My love is here again with a pain tool side to quick, you know, tip tip and tricks. <laughs> um, and today is actually probably going to be real quick because this is really a fast one for you. But for the people who've gotten um, the new scatter brush, I'm here to show you that your brush isn't broken. And sometimes when you download um, one from like DA or someone made some one of them and you know you download you put it in your thing and it flips itself we're gonna fix that today so you kind of know how it works so i'm gonna give you one that i believe already comes in as default and it does it by itself and it, everything's fine with it oh well if it will be a little darker so you can see so that that's easy to use but i downloaded one downloaded one. Wow, I can't speak today. I'm so sorry. Uh, ah, here. There's some trees. And they're sideways. Yeah, they came that way. So I wanted to show you how you can fix this. So that way, if you're having issues and you're wondering, oh no, why is my scatter brush broken? And I can't use it now because it's sideways. You can. All right. So where you've clicked where the flow is and what your brush is, there's this tiny little arrow here on the left. You click that down and here's all the, the different type of things you can do with your scatter brush for that specific one. So it gives you which type of angle control you would like. You can see it in the preview right here, what you actually do with it. So in the angle, I could turn this now upright. Let's see if that will actually move it up. See? Now, this so spacing and it rotating the way it does, you can also control that as well. So you don't have to worry about it like actually scattering that much. You can actually literally take all the scattering off. Um and spacing as well. You can mess with that. Let's do 100%. There you go. As you can see, it really spaces them out. For trees, sometimes you just don't want them all that space, especially when they're like forest ones. So let's try that out. I push them a lot more close. Yeah, closer looks nice. You can scale it little. You can make it smaller. You can make it larger for the brush. You can also angle your jitters. So like when it does that, you can also just take that completely out. So it should be pretty straight now without moving sideways at all. See? Which is super helpful. So now we have a whole forest and it's not like going all over the place unless I want to turn it a little bit more straight. So I hope that's helpful and I can show you with one more just so you can see they can do it with pretty much anything. Um, let's see. As an example, I'll take this heart one here. All right, I have it scatter normally. Again, arrow, I'm going to adjust the angle. I want it to not jitter around. So there we go. Jitter size, 0% scaling. I'm going to make them pretty big. I'm going to space them out a little bit and zero scattering. And now the scatter tool is pretty straight for that one. And just for fun, scatter a bunch all the way to 300 and something. I don't even see it half the time. And this is me pressing my pen on the, the tablet. So, yeah. And that's how that is done. So your, your stuff isn't broken. You just got to tweak it a little bit however you'd like. They give you a bunch of options. And Paint Soul Size is really good at if you actually need to know what it does. You just hover over it and it'll tell you exactly what you need to know. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. 
Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.